A couple of years ago, I lost a suitcase. I was at the hotel at the time, and an employee offered to help me. It's really nice of someone to help in a moment like that, right? I certainly thought so. But I definitely thought it was less nice when the man helping me started asking me questions like if I had a boyfriend, or if he could have my number, and all those things that would logically have made a 12-year-old uncomfortable. It's fun that then I thought that I was overreacting. There was no reason to feel anxious. And that's exactly what I thought all the other times in the street made me feel uncomfortable or made my screen skin crawl with fear. Uh, but in the last few years, thankfully, I started noticing the influx of articles about catcalling. Uh, I read all of them voraciously and God, words can't express how relieved I was when I realized that millions of people shared my experience and my feelings regarding it. So I wasn't the only one and I wasn't just being weird. So what is the issue? The issue is catcalling or wall whistling. Making a comment, a whistle or a shout of sexual nature at a woman passing by also could be defined as sexual harassment. So, most women have been uh, victims of catcalling. In a study conducted by Stop Street Harassment in 2008, it appeared that out of the 900 women surveyed, 99% um, had experienced one or more forms of street harassment. 68 were leered at, 95 were honked and whistled at, 87 had sexist comments of sexual nature yelled at them, 77 were targets of kissing noise, and so on. The statistics only get more and more dreadful, and what's even more disturbing, in my opinion, is that those women specified that those offenses that were listed there were not only committed once against them. It appeared that against one woman, the offenses had been committed more than 20 times. And that's beyond horrifying, in my opinion. So, some people probably don't understand what's wrong with a man complimenting a woman as she goes to work, goes to her morning job, or go to a nearest grocery store. Aren't catcalls supposed to be flattering? Aren't those men just trying to make us feel good about ourselves by leering comments like, God bless you, or can I have your number, or you look good in those jeans? Well, I'm going to try and explain why it's not appreciated by women. So, saying a good morning, Smiling at someone is not the same as talking about their body when you don't actually know them. Uh, it is not the same as saying a simple hello because nobody's stopping you from doing those things. Nobody's trying to stop you from communicating with strangers because there's nothing wrong with that. Um, even though men try to minimize this issue by saying that women are socially unequipped beings who can't be spoken to, which obviously not the case, as we probably we all know. And, um, well, women don't actually appreciate this, but some women try to say that it's nice to hear those kind of compliments, and I'm sure that most people can't agree with them, because there's an underlying sexual nature that catcalling has, and those women are basically trying to tell men that it's alright to harass us. So, there's a few things I would like those men to know. Firstly, catcalling is not the same as complimenting. It makes us feel like we are walking pieces of meat or sexual objects for you to comment on. Secondly, we aren't obliged to listen to you yell about your sexual urges. Thirdly, women have lives. We have places to be and things to do. And listening to you yell about things is not one of them. The fourth point is that strangers in general tend to make people feel uneasy and nervous. So I think it's Easy to imagine what a stranger straight up making kissing noises at you must feel like. The fifth point is that I'm not sure if you realize, but women don't actually wake up in the morning and go, man, I wish someone would yell inappropriate sexual comments at me across the street today. <laughs> and the last point is that victims of catcalling don't actually speak out against you because they fear for their lives if they do. So, I think it's clear that we don't enjoy catcalling. It's not something you should have desire to do. But if you still want to do those things, I would advise you to think about what your mother, daughter, sister, or any, any female figure in your life 
that you respect will think about your actions. So, this is my official plea for men to stop catcalling. Thank you.